So this is where the eggs were found under a nice toasty heater here. There were four baby tortoises just peeking out of their eggs. It is incredible to think that these guys are due to get 3,000 times larger. So they've all increased their body weight by at least 10 to 20%. It's also really important for the species as a whole. We're able to share this information and allow the husbandry for this species as an endangered species to progress in advance. Good morning, Roger. I'm excited to see your designs um, and excited to bring the baby tortoises down. Um, maybe we can go through where we're at. So what do you actually think you need in regards to the actual trays, etc. itself? Luckily, a lot of what we need to provide for the babies is already here. The main thing for us is that it's strong, it can withstand the growing tortoise weight, right? Yep. Uh, and the substrate that goes in so that they can walk up and down and mix in, in amongst. So what, what we've done, Don, is yep. the consultation with the, the our maintenance team is to look at how we can actually design that. It looks perfect and as drawn. I think we can move on with the tabletop itself, we right? We certainly can. So in fact, we've got the guys here now. Great. Uh, they're just going to start installing the, uh, the ply tops. Okay. So it looks very skeletal at the moment, um, but actually the most important part is already in place. We've got a frame that supports the weight pressures from beneath, from mum and dad, and the weight of the tortoises and all the substrate on top. These baby tortoises, in about a year and a half to two years, will be pushing one and a half, two kilos. It's very much a, a temporary solution. And what we're about to deliver for the baby tortoises is a kind of a bringing together of all that science. Hopefully the tortoises like it and they continue to thrive and grow. Behind me I have our crate for our juvenile Galapagos tortoises and I'm just putting the final touches in today. So reptiles are really reliant on the heat. It also allows them to thermoregulate. So the heat that we give them at like bulbs like these will ensure that one, they have the right temperatures and it also allows us to know that they have that gradient. Uh, and the bulbs that we have here uh, that I've just put in, they are our UV bulbs, so they're just making sure we've got sufficient UV, UVA and UVB um, to make sure that these guys have all their biological functions that UV stimulates. Um, so what we've got here is a really cool new little device that attaches to our phone uh, and it creates a thermal camera that shows us exactly where all the cold spots are, where all the really hot spots are in our little creche here. It allows us to see if all our lights and our heating are actually giving out enough heat for, say, a basking spot, areas that they can move into and thermoregulate and cool themselves down. I'm going to create a humid hide. They also need a gradient of humidity. We will uh, fill it with a sphagnum moss, which is a moss that we can saturate with water, wring it out, and it holds the humidity, it holds the moisture. If they feel like they need that really high humid environment, they can move into there. So what this is, is we call it a data logger. So uh, this is basically right now reading the temperature, the humidity of the air around it. I will put this in here overnight and then I can check this in the morning by simply looking on my phone with Bluetooth and checking how low it got last night with temperature uh, and how humid it was. And then I can make alterations to the crash to make sure it's absolutely perfect for the Galapagos tortoises when they uh, finally come into their new home. Being able to create their very first habitat that they're gonna move into, uh, researching everything I'm very fortunate to be able to witness this and be a part of this. Good afternoon. You join us on a momentous uh, day. We're about to move our baby Galapagos tortoises. We're really excited about it. Uh, there aren't many zoos, uh, to the best of my knowledge, that display baby tortoises with their parents. We've arrived. It's pretty unceremonious. In they go, one by one. I'm going to place them under a heat lamp here um, so they'll be nice and toasty and we'll see if they uh, head off and explore. That's what I would do. 
um, but there's some many expectant eyes, which will be a new sensation for the tortoises. Um, so here we go. Without further ado. The great thing about the Galapagos tortoise being the world's largest terrestrial tortoise is they are ambassadors, champions for all the other stories you want to tell about endangered wildlife. And that's all very familiar to New Zealanders who are still uh, at war with unwanted pests and the effect they're having on the endemic species here. Very, very similar problems faced by Galapagos tortoises all those thousands of miles away. They're instantly exploring and obviously this is great for them. It's great for muscle development, keeps their claws in check. They've almost got wolverine-like claws. They've incredible climbing ability. It's awesome to see our visiting public, our friends visiting this space, viewing the habitat, enjoying the babies, enjoying our success, you know, celebrating our success really. As always, it's a feeling of wrapped anxiety uh, and uh, just relief actually, all wrapped up into one that they're finally in the space and they can be enjoyed in this lovely habitat and then obviously in full view of their parents. I would say doting parents, but I'm sure they've almost forgotten they exist. <laughs> we certainly won't.